Ski with D1 Circuit here with uh, Mebo Team Hood point guard Jared Butler. Uh, after the first session here of uh, or at first game of the third session uh, of the EYBL, take us through your uh, your EYBL experience so far. Uh, the EYBL is such a great competition. I mean, every game you're playing against somebody tough. You're playing against teams that want to win. And uh, just now we, we end up losing, but we came off we came out real slow. They slapped us in the face a couple of times the whole first half, and then the second half we fought back, which is a good thing, you know, which is we're going to need that later on down the season. But uh, we just came out slow, you know what I'm saying? We just had a bad first half, and I feel like if we played the second half the whole game, they would have we we been a better game. Coming out slow can happen because the competition you play against, teams can really traveling. jump on you, right, in the traveling. Um, you're, you guys are four and five so far. Really, it's one of the best marks for a new program. Is that something you guys have really pride yourselves on, representing Mississippi entering the circuit? Of course. You know, Mississippi is always looked at as, like, not a basketball state. You know, we don't produce that many basketball players. So we just try to put ourselves on the map. You know, we feel like all of us are kind of underrated. So we just kind of try to work hard and, you know, be an elite team like all these other teams that people think so. so. Do you change your game at all playing alongside guys like Robert and, you know, the, and, and DJ and, and the talent you play against? Of course. Uh, you know, they're great players. You know, we all come from high schools where we're, we're probably the, the best player. So we just have to play together and learn how to share the ball and use each other and our, 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 our biggest uh, assets together. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's one thing I had to change about my game. This platform uh, has helped. Uh, showcase your talents really to a lot of uh, high major schools. I won't ask about specifics, but when you're going to pick that school, what needs to be there? What's the most important thing for you? Uh, I think the coach. I think the coach needs to be a player's coach. You know, he needs to be trying to get me better every day. You know what I'm saying? I just I just want a good relationship with the coach. You know what I'm saying? I just I just want to know when I can go to that school that I'm going to be get prepared to be a, a man. You know what I'm saying? Not just in basketball, but in life. You know, so that's just, that's just the main thing. Any idea what you're going to study at the next level? Oh, engineering. My whole family is like an engineer. My dad's a civil engineer. My brother's a mechanical engineer, so probably engineer. Outstanding. Well, he's he's got a he's got a brain to him as well. Uh, last question. We're going to ask this uh, to uh, most of the guys we interview this session. Uh, nine out of 50 states currently have a shot clock. Nike EYBL plays with a shot clock as well. Do you think the high school high school should have a shot clock across the country? Yeah, of course, because you know the next level we have a shot clock. So why not put it in this level? You know what I mean? It's just one of those things that you get to get prepared for and you got to get adjusted to. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm for it. That's what I'm saying. Awesome. This has been Alec Kinski with uh, D1 Circuit here with Mebo Elite Point Guard Jared Butler.